Hey, so some people have asked, um, why do I need the extra mixer, you know, the floating mixer or the side-by-side -side mixer in Ableton? I already have a mixer. Um, well, this is one feature that uh, is really useful, even if you don't have two monitors. And if you do have two monitors, it's really great because then you can use the floating window version. But I'm going to just show you the effect strip mixer version here, or the master mixer or mastering mixer version, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the idea is that basically, like on a real hardware mixer, you get a channel strip or an effect strip for every track. Okay, that's something you really can't do in live otherwise, right? You can't see, you know, like right here, I have EQ3s uh, for just about every track up here. So if I'm mastering, I could sit there and adjust the EQ uh, of every track while, you know, interactively while I'm seeing it. And I also get like the, on the mastering track, I have the, uh, the rack controls for for that track. So let's uh, see what happens. I'm going to turn off my mic for a second. And this is one of just one of the built in uh, example um, from uh, the zero G loop uh, samples that you get with live nine now. So let me turn off my mic and let's see what happens. So that should give you the idea. Um, you know, basically, when you're tweaking, you know, working with a lot of tracks, and you want to be working with, uh, you know, devices on them simultaneously, you can really look at, you know, each track as it's going on. And you can even, you know, make assignments about what channels uh, or what uh, knobs control what, and you can choose different devices. So you get access to all your devices. Um, or the, the root devices, which means basically not embedded within other devices. You can enable and disable the EQs or whatever device there is on the track. So it's really useful, not just for multiple monitors, but for single monitor users as well. It just really kind of uh, opens up a lot of possibilities about you know your workflow, especially mastering workflow in Ableton, which I think, I mean, I've heard a lot of people say different things about um, mastering in live, and I think this addresses one of those core issues, which is, you know, like in a lot of other DAWs, you do get that kind of channel strip or, you know, work on multiple effects or multiple tracks at the same time. Um, and so give it a try. Uh, you can buy it independently, uh, or you can buy it as part of a bundle, which is really the way to go, because with the bundle, you get sort of a three or four for, you know, four for two, four for three, three for two, whatever kind of uh, package deal. Um, but you can buy it independently. Um, and when you buy it independently, you get the the strip version that goes in window, as I like to call it, and you also get the the out of window floating version as well. So for those of you who do have multiple monitors, uh, you can use the mixer view by Razer Mice 1.6. Okay, so here I can open up my window and I'll get the floating version. So similarly, you get all your mixer controls, but you also get your your floating effects now. So, all right, uh, come to www.eracermice.com. Uh, friend me on Facebook, Eraser Mice, or always hit up the YouTube channel, Learn Max. Take care. Have a good one.